Hello everyone. I hope everyone is doing great. Uh, so in today's video, we'll do a quick lab by Cyber Defenders called Web Strike Light. Okay, so we'll start by reading the scenario and then answering the questions. I already did the lab, but let's do it together. So the lab says, the scenario says, a suspicious file was identified on a company web server raising alarms within the intranet. The development team flagged the anomaly suspecting potential malicious activity to address the issue the network team captured critical network traffic and prepared a pickup file for review you task is to analyze provided pickup file to uncover how the file appeared and determine the extent of the unauthorized activity all right so i already have the download i already downloaded the file the pickup file and you can you know unzip it and then the password is here and yeah this is the pickup file as you can see all right, so let's start by analyzing the question, uh, by answering the question. So question number one says, okay, identify the geographical location of the attack will help helping in implementing geo-blocking measures and analyzing threat intelligence. From which city did the attack originate? Okay, it's asking the city. So as you know, uh, since it's a server, someone is accessing or requesting, sending requests to the server. So to do this, we can, you know, filter for, request traffic so http dot request request dot method equal to equal to get okay and as you can see these are all the requests all other these are all the requests and as you can see it's coming from one ip which is this one 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 seventeen point eleven dot eighty eight dot one four to the server which is, you know, seems like the server, 24.49.63.79, and it's all coming from this IP. So let's, uh, okay, let's go it. Let's follow it. Uh, internet protocol. This is it. Let's copy it. And value, okay. And now we can go to uh, a website like geolocation IP to identify or IP address look up where is this IP address originating from so this IP seems like it's originating from uh, China from the region or the city called Taijan okay so you copy this and the answer is indeed Tianjin okay right okay so the other question is, knowing the attacker uses an agent to assist in create, uh, creating robust filtering rules. What's the attacker user agent? Okay, so, oh, sorry, to identify the attacker user agent, okay, what we can do here is to follow the TCP stream, okay? Since these are the requests, let's follow the TCP stream, okay? And as you can see here, we have it, user agent, okay, Mozilla, 5 Linux, 36, Gecko Firefox. Okay, let's copy this. This is the user agent that the attacker is using, and as you can see, the answer is indeed it's Mozilla Firefox. Okay. Question number three. We need to determine if any vulnerabilities was exploited. What's the name of the malicious web shell that was uploaded? So, since there's a file that has been or a shell that has been uploaded, then we know that it, there's a post request, right? So what you can do is just uh, do the same thing that we did. HTTP method. Instead of get, we just say post. Post. Okay. As you can see, these are the requests. Let's follow the TCP stream. Okay. And so they're saying, what's the, what's the name of the malicious? Okay. So... Okay, as you can see, uh, here there's a file name, content, there's a file name, it's called image.php, but however, as you can see, it's an invalid file format, so it's, it has not been uploaded successfully, okay, and here in the next uh, stream, we can see this, this file has been uploaded successfully, in this directory, and the file name is image.jpg.php. Okay, so this is the file that has been uploaded successfully. So the answer is indeed, yeah, image.jpg. Okay, well, the other question, identify the directory where uploaded files are stored 
is crucial for locating the vulnerable page and removing any malicious file which directory is used for the website to store the upload file yeah so from looking we can uh, since this one sorry okay this is the file upload successfully this is the name of the file and it seems it's in the review slash upload okay let's check follow 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 yeah so as you can see it is in the review slash upload directory the user is trying to yeah okay yeah this is the image.jpg.php it's in the review slash upload directory all right review slash upload directory okay question number five which port opened the attacker machines okay was targeted by the malicious web for establishing unauthorized outbound communication okay so here we are looking for the used port so we can look back to the stream where the, the file was uploaded successfully as you can see this is the file name this is the this is the 200 okay file uploaded successfully and we can see this is the reverse shell this is the shell php system okay so this is the code tmp this is the attacker's ip address we have here 8080 so this is the port port 8080 is the port used to establish the communication between the attacker and the server so yeah it's 8080 8080 and finally the last question recognizing the significance of compromised data helps prioritize incident response which okay which file was the attacker attempting to exfiltrate so yeah which file because attackers normally will when they you know compromise the machine they have a mission which is like it can be to destroy the data or compromise or or uh, sorry still still uh, or exfiltrate the credential so as you can see once this is file uploaded successfully once the file has been uh, uploaded successfully we can follow the stream okay admin uploads okay nothing admin uploads okay review slash uploads.php okay file upload successfully okay sorry okay let's follow the okay okay yeah as you can see here's the linux command you know after he compromised the machine who am i username print working directory okay as you can see he's trying to access the pass pass wd directory okay all right so as you can see yeah follow etc slash pass wdd so we can say that he's trying to exfiltrate this directory pass wd yeah yeah so this will be the answer pass yeah pass wd so yeah, i hope you enjoyed this lab it's quite easy so yeah see you in the next one and hope you enjoyed this tutorial see ya